finally I had had enough and I blew up on uh, my mom on the phone and told her everything that was happening. I, I don't remember if I was at my girlfriend. I think I was at my brother's. I, I can't remember. But um, and then and then I had told my girlfriend and we were at her house and I told my girlfriend and we were both just bawling and tears and and uh, <clears throat> we ended up just laying on the couch all night and holding each other and and uh, crying and you know and she was I mean to this day she is let's just say he wouldn't want to meet her in a dark alley <laughs> you know I mean she's very she was very protective of me and it did not go over well with her. And so we, um, and then she would, she would sit in, uh, I might've told her before I told my mom. And cause I remember, well, she reminded me of one time when we were at my house and we were on my bed and we were talking and she's like, you have to say something. You have like, you can't, this person cannot be, <clears throat> excuse me, no. out there doing these types of, of things. In that moment, you were still doing Drake and Josh? We hadn't started this. We this hadn't, next we hadn't, season. We hadn't picked it. We were picked up, but we hadn't started filming yet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and she's like, you have to say something. He's going to end up working on the show. You have to, because uh, whether it was as the dad on the show, he would have been dialogue coach. And so she said, you have to say something. Something has to be done. We have to do something. You know, and you ha and 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 I'm like, I can't. I don't want my name out there. I don't want this. I'm. I've got all this coming up. And she's like, No, you have to do it so you can be a John Doe. So your name won't be out there. You know. And so finally, I I I blew up. I told my mom. And next thing I knew, there were detectives at the house. And what happened when you talked to your mom? She called. She got off the phone with me and called the police. Immediately. Immediately. And she got moved around and told where to, where to go. And I ended up be, uh, with the police. Did your father know at the same moment? No, I couldn't let my dad know. I, I was so, I, I couldn't let my dad know. My dad didn't know until later. Okay. Um, and so I, with the police came and I was being interviewed by the police and um, I had to tell them all the grisly details and of every time, everything that happened and, how it happened and where it happened and when it happened and to these two strangers and my mom sitting at a dinner table. Um, and then fast forward, I you know I'm saying a lot, but fast forward, I, I ended up having to get on a phone that was connected to a tape recorder and get him to admit everything that he had done. Um, and when that happened, that's well, when- It was like a normal call. Yeah, I had to pretend okay. that it was a normal call and ask him why he had done what he did and that now I'm very confused and I'm dealing through with all of these emotions and this stuff and I don't know how to work through it and I don't know why and why did he do this and I don't understand my emotions and my thoughts and this and that. And he just opened up like a book. Kept asking, are, you being re are we being recorded? Are we being recorded? And uh, no, 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 I just, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot right now and I, I just need to know, you know, what's this, what's that? Why did we do, why did you do this? Why did the, you do this? Why did, and, and he opened up and we got a tape of him admitting what happened. And after that, uh, he was charged and arrested. And then the news got out everywhere. Well, not really, because that <laughs> story was very suppressed. It's very interesting of why. And I later learned just recently <clears throat> of why that might've been the case, because Uh, there were f 41 or some odd letters written to the judge from people in Hollywood, directors, writers, actors, producers, um, in support wow. of him. No way. Saying he must have been pressured into it. That I could only imagine, one of the letters said, I could only imagine he was pressured beyond belief until he finally caved in and all of the letters were saying that I was the one at fault, that I was the one that was coaxing him into doing what he did, that I was the one that he had to be under so much pressure and 
a victim of jail bait and that it was my fault and um, wow. I was asking for it and all of this and which I didn't know these letters existed until this documentary. Um, but it, it really sheds a light on how the media suppressed his story. Yes. But there's so many interests. Because there's no, there were no, I mean, that's a huge story. You, you have something like that happen at a children's network on such a grand scale. I mean, that's a headline for the New York Times. But it disappeared. Yes. It disappeared. What a shame. But I have this, you know, call it a conspiracy or call it whatever, but it's, it's in black and white. I'm looking yes, at yes. it there. It's, there's no conspiracy anymore. Yes. I mean, this is what it is. And every mistake and misstep that I made was amplified to such a degree. Mis, I mean, even with my things that I got into later in life, misinformation, misreporting, blatant lies that you just look on Google and you can find the real story, but nobody does that. We were talking about that earlier. They just take a, somebody tweeted something. Oh, that's a fact. Oh, somebody put a TikTok out. That's a fact. And so my name was being drugged through the mud my entire life after this. And it, and I think that that contributed to, you know, alcoholism, drugs, whatever I could do to escape, relationships, you know, ended up hurting people along the way and burning bridges and, and uh, all of a sudden I would see my name in the papers and it would be saying this about me and that, oh, another, look at what happens to these young stars. They just, they always end up in the gutter and they always end up doing all these horrible things and I'm just like, every day having to read these things. So then that would contribute to me just wanting to escape. And then I would get another DUI or I'd be seen coming out of a, a bar or a club and be just out of my mind. And every single little mistake that I made was just blasted everywhere. But this guy ended up working again. No. On children's oh, television. No way. Yeah on the Disney Channel. No. He ended up going and working on the Disney Channel. And what, I, uh, what I've learned... Do they ask him something about all these issues and all this problem? They didn't have to ask. They knew. They knew. And, and does him still now, working there? What I learned now is some of the people who I ended up working with on Drake and Josh, thinking they were my friends, They know about it. Wrote letters. Were some against of, were you. Were some of the people who wrote letters. I support him. Supporting him and against me. And those are the same people who were working on the shows that he eventually got hired on again to work around kids and be around kids. It's and incredible. So my whole life I had, you know, been getting all of this stuff in the press and, and, and the world thinking I'm a monster and all of these horrible things happening. And he was hanging out on set, working, going to parties, being around Hollywood, like nothing happened. And um, I remember one time I saw him at a restaurant and he was at the table with like 10 or 12 actors, all Trump. male actors, Young between actor? the ages of 14 and 16. Whoa. And I walked in and saw him and saw that he was just right back to what he was doing and turned around and left. And he, he was sentenced to 16 months in prison. Just uh, 16 months? Just 16 months. And I think only of which he served maybe four. Um, and when he got out, He was a registered offender, a registered sex offender for crimes against a, a child. And he um, went right back to work on, the, on the Disney Channel, on Fox, on all of these companies just hired him again. Does he still working? Well, yeah. hopefully after this documentary, no. 
Do you? But but if you check his IMDb, I mean, he worked. He's got a plethora. Of, I mean, he recently worked on a movie where he played a, a teacher in a school with all young actors. Do you were afraid of him after all this? Terrified. I mean, there was there was such a because watching because him I knew in a how, restaurant I, and face to face. I, I guess it could be, be really, really tough. Yeah, and I knew how connected he was. I didn't know until seeing these letters how connected and how people, I mean, they wrote love letters about him. He doesn't deserve jail. He doesn't, he was, he was in, it's not his fault and all of this. And from, I mean, huge producers, huge actors, And a tragic thing is when I went to court for the sentencing, I had my mom, my, my friend, my brother, and my stepdad, and myself. So it was five of us on my side of the courtroom. And how many of you? There wasn't an empty seat. Whoa. It was completely full of actors, people I grew up with watching, people who I considered my friends who knew me through him and in the business, um, a lot of young Uh, young actors, a lot of minor actors, a lot of major uh, older actors. Uh, um, and I walked into that producers, director, I mean, just a slew of famous people. Did you have an opportunity to, to tell them anything in front of them? Well, what I did is I, I had a moment to stand up and talk and I said, I'm not going to address Brian because there's no reason I need to. Um, but how dare you guys like this is re-traumatizing i go you 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 heard the judge you've heard what he admitted to you know what's happening you uh, i'm gonna have to live with this for the rest of my life i can't sleep at night i'm losing my hair i I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm afraid to be alone. I, 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 I'm, this is, this, I have to live with this for the rest of my life, but you guys are going to have to live with the fact that you're on that side of the courtroom and, and shame on you. And that's all I have to say. And I never heard from any of them. Some of which, some of them I worked with later on other projects. Was anybody told you sorry about it? Nope. Nope. The letters have been released. One, one person who wrote the letters made a public apology. Everyone else, no apologies. Some people have tried to get ahead of the story and say, oh, we were manipulated. We didn't understand what was going on at the time. He told us something different. But it was, it's very interesting that they didn't say that until they knew that the letters were about to be released. How do you deal with your mental health in that moment or in the course of that? With absolute self-destruction. Just any way that I could escape, any way that I could, you know, my, my relationship with my girlfriend just fizzled away because I felt gross. I felt I didn't, I felt... I, 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 shame. And I felt shame and I felt angry and I, I, I was mad at the world and I took it out on everybody around me. Um, and I knew that I could uh, drink or put something in my body that at least would make me, you know, Forget. but that always, it just, that's even worse because then you're, you know, you're at home by yourself and you're, you're, wow. you're can't, you can't properly work through these things. Um, and so I ended up just going down, you know, and down and down. I was able to maintain sort of a professional, uh, you know, I ended up working on Drake and Josh and was able to maintain, you know, being professional and showing up on time and knowing my lines. But that was because I needed a job and I, it, that was the only thing that I loved doing. When, when you watch, the last um, seasons of Drake and Josh, you saw you different? I mean, I know where I, depending on the scenes and where I'm at in wow. my life, I know exactly what's going on. Wow.